Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today I have a canning video for you. It's an easy one and I've done it before but I'm going to change it up just a little bit. I am canning up ground beef. I want to get this on my shelf so that I have it for easy dinners because I use it a lot. Not my husband's favorite but I love it. So I'm not a big fan of beef pot roast always sometimes sometimes I want it and I like it in the steak and ale soup the best um, but canned pot roast is not my favorite canned beef pot roast um, but I do like the canned ground beef and I use it for tacos I use it for rolled tacos taquitos um, I use it for taco salad I use it for gravy to pour you know like meat gravy to pour over mashed potatoes I use it in spaghetti sauces for quick bolognese I use it for that kind of stuff Anyway, I love it and I like to have it on my shelf. So I am going to can up. I've got 15 pounds. I'm going to cook up, see if I can get all 15 pounds into 14 jars. Probably not. I, it averages about a pound of beef or about a pound of meat per uh, pint. And I have, I'm doing it in pints versus um, quarts because I like the ground beef. My husband does not. Um, he'll eat it if I put it in sauces and things like that. But um, I'm the one who eats tacos out of it <laughs> and nachos. <laughs> So I'm going to do half of it plain and the other half I'm going to season with taco seasoning so that I can just have it pre-made uh, taco beef. <clears throat> so we're going to do that plus I'm going to be using my Harvest Guard lids. Now I did have a subscriber ask me if I had any videos with Harvest Guard lids and I do but I didn't label them I don't think with Harvest Guard. I don't know. So if I did they'll be there. Anyway this one I will label that way. Um, and I'll show you how to use the Harvest Guard lids if you've not used them before. I love them and should probably use them more because I did put in a huge order for Harvest Guard lids, so I do have a lot of them. And then I forget about it and start using the other lids. So, let's use our Harvest Guard lids today, pull a chair up to my counter, and let's get canning. First thing I'm going to do is get all of my ground beef into this pan here. Um, I found it at the market for a dollar 97 a pound it was a good sale and there was um they were in three pound packages and there was a limit of five so i bought all of them so we're canning them all up today i'm going to do it the lazy man method way right so we're going to brown it i'm going to put half of it in uh, seven jars or whatever i can get in seven jars plain and then i'm going to season the rest with taco seasoning It's a lot of ground beef. So when you're doing it this way, it takes patience. You gotta cook it down, but don't burn it. When I'm cooking ground beef like this, I add water to it. So I'm gonna put in four cups of water. You don't want your beef to burn and stick to the bottom of the pan. And this process takes a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on medium high. I'm gonna cover it. When it starts to heat up a little bit, I'm gonna go in there with my meat grinder and I'm gonna start breaking it apart and then um, getting it cooked up. So, while this is going on, I have already done the safety checks on my canner. I'm going to get it oiled up here with my uh, Vaseline. And then I am going to get my jars in the sink to soak because this is going to take a little while. And I'll be back. got my jars washed up in my first seven here for the beef and this is for the regular beef I just washed up all of my harvest guard lids <clears throat> and I'm getting ready to pull out some seals right the seals if you can see 
I've got one little black mark right there because I've already used the seal. Now I know I've got 15 pounds of beef here, so I know I'm going to get seven, um, or I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm going to get at least 14 pints out of this, and that's what I can fit in my canner. So I'm going to take a dot and I'm going to put a second dot on there so that I know I used it a second time. Uh, after 10 times, these things you pretty much got to toss them. Um, so I'm going to mark all of my seals. If you are unsure, don't mark your last couple seals until you know that you're going to use them. Um, you can wash it. I'm going to wash these too before I stick them in my jar. But I wanted to get my mark on them before I wash them up. I've heard some people say they're never sure if they're going to use them so they don't mark them until they um, open them up. I just kind of watch it and um, <clears throat> if I'm unsure about how many I'm going to get, I just don't mark as many. And then I'll, I'll mark it, wash it, and then get it into the water and let it kind of soak for a few. These are Harvest Guard lids if you've never seen them before. Um, they are just like Tatler lids, okay, reusable. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is take the band and put it on. Um, the marker can go on either side. I had somebody tell me that marker will bleed into your food if you put it on the wrong side. That is incorrect. It is not going to. It's going to seal right up against it. So these need to be pre-soaked in some hot water before you use them. So I'm going to get them all set up just like this. And then I'm getting them right into my simmering pan of water so that I can start canning right away. So I'm going to pull it out. You can also completely drain off the fat. I like to do it with water because then it kind of stays in the water a little bit. <clears throat> but I'm going to get these jars filled with beef. And let me tell you, my husband's home. He's got his bathing suit on and dogs are barking. So I'm going to turn the sound off while I'm doing this and speed it up for you. I've got the ground beef in there and I've got it in there loosely packed okay I don't want to completely pack it down and then I am going to put in here uh, powdered beef bouillon and I'm using a half a teaspoon of powdered beef bouillon in this one you can put Lipton onion soup mix in here if you want uh, just can it in water if you prefer and then to make things easy on myself, I have uh, a kettle. I need one inch of headspace. So I'm going to go through and fill all of these up and then get the air bubbles out. If you want to add garlic powder, um, onion powder, if you wanted to put in some dried onions, anything you want to flavor your to flavor your beef. Okay, I've got a chopstick. I'm gonna go around and get any air bubbles out. You could add mushrooms to this. I'm just gonna leave this one plain so that. Um, I can use it for anything. So just the beef flavor. Oop. Piece of ground beef. Don't ship. Um, also, I want to say that I realize a lot of people do not like ground beef canned. Okay? 
I do, my husband does not, so we're divided on that, which is fine. So I can it because I like to eat it and this will be easy meals for me because I love nachos and tacos. <laughs> and I always want them. So there you go. So please don't comment on my video and tell me how much you don't like ground beef is basically what I'm saying because I do like it canned. Let me pull this out here. Okay, make sure that they're all one inch. Um, after you debubble, sometimes they go down a bit. So make sure you're at the one inch. I think those all look good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my rims. I'm just using water. You wanna use vinegar? Use vinegar. Again, matter of preference. Um, I would not suggest to can ground beef raw. You can do that. You can pack it in there raw and can it with no water, just plain. So if you can everything raw, then you're gonna have all that fat trapped in there. So um, I suggest cook it first. You need tongs to get your lids out. So make sure your seal's on. The gums on first. Just make sure, because when the, these will come apart sometimes in the water, make sure that you seat them on correctly before you put them on your jar. Otherwise, they won't seal. Okay, rings. Of course, I forgot them. Here's the thing about using Harvest Guard lids. When you put your, supposed to hold this down. When you put this on, you're supposed to hold your lid, okay? Get this down, then you're gonna tighten it, and then back off just a smidge so that it can vent. Okay, I'm gonna get these in. The rest of our ground beef, I'm gonna turn this into taco meat. I have made homemade taco seasoning and I have, will link the recipe in the description box below for you. We've got a lot of meat to season, so that is a lot of taco seasoning. Also, I like tomato paste. Not a lot, but a little bit of tomato paste. So I'm gonna stir this right in. And I'm probably gonna use a half a cup of tomato paste for this whole thing. <clears throat> okay, 
And by the way, I drained the meat so that um, I wouldn't be stirring this into the waste, the, the water and the fat that I'm going to waste. You're going to stir it in good. And whatever doesn't get put in the canner today will be dinner. <laughs> Whew, this makes your muscles sore. This is a workout. Okay. Let's get it into the jars. Not with that one. <laughs> How about this one? <laughs> Taco meat going in. Loosely pack your jars because they're adding water. This will save me from having to season my beef when I take it out of my jar for um, tacos and nachos. But again, you don't have to make taco meat. You can just season it when, as you need it. That's usually what I do, but I thought this time I'd rather do it this way. I'm going to try to loosely pack these one, pack these a little bit more loose than the other ones since they have so much seasoning in it and I want a little bit more water. Okay, looks like I have some left over for dinner tonight, so taco salad it is. Or since I have um, so much left over, I could probably have another half canner load. I could probably throw that in the canner tomorrow for another seven pints. If you pack them loosely, you're going to get more than um, than the 14 pints. And again, this was 15 pounds of ground beef. I need a little bit more. When I heat this up, I will put the entire contents into a pan and cook it until the, the liquid evaporates. And that is how I'll, I'll do it um, versus draining it because it's got all the flavor in it. I am going to go ahead and clean the tops here and get these in while I'm waiting for that water to boil. Okay, the battery died. I don't know where you left off, so all my jars are full. I've got half taco meat, half just plain ground beef. I'm going to get my lid on my canner and bring these guys up. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you. Um, we are going to bring this up to heat between a 5 and a 6, so not completely on high. And then I'm going to wait for the pet cock to start steaming. You're going to let this steam for 10 minutes. And we're talking a lot of steam, like a freight train, not a little steam. You're going to time that 10 minutes. After that, I'm going to put my weight on, uh, 15 pounds of pressure for my area, for my altitude. If you don't know your altitude, um, you need to find out your altitude, and then you need to check with the National Home Food Preservation website to find out the weight that you need. Okay, after that, and I get my weight on, I'm gonna process these for 75 minutes for pints. If you wanna do half pints, process those again for 75 minutes. If you wanna do quarts, those are 90 minutes. I'll see you when these are done. Okay, I am pulling everything out of the canner, my taco meat. <clears throat> Okay, here's the thing about using Harvest Guard lids. As soon as you pull it out of the canner, we need to tighten these down. So, tighten them down. If your jar is still hissing, leave it alone. But not hissing, tighten her down. And then here is the ground beef coming out. Ooh. It's 
spraying hot water everywhere. Okay, tighten her down. Okay, last two to tighten up here. Okay, normally when you pull them out, if you're using regular lids, you don't tighten, but if you're using Tattlers or Harvest Guard, you need to tighten them as soon as you pull them out. Other than if you hear hissing. If you hear hissing, leave it there. Don't touch it until it stops hissing. All right, they are done. I'm gonna go ahead and let them sit and cool, and then we We'll check tomorrow to make sure everything's sealed. I'll, I'll check tonight later on, but um, if they're cool enough before I go to bed, maybe I'll film it then for you, and we'll check it and make sure they're sealed. Okay, it is the next morning. Let's check these out. I should have checked them last night, but I didn't. Sealed. Sealed. A lot of times you can see the dip in the middle. This one not sealed. I think this uh, ring is funky. Sealed. 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 Sealed, 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 sealed. Okay, one did not seal, but I actually think it is this ring because when I put the ring on, it kept doing weird stuff. So uh, yeah, this is gonna go in the refrigerator. We're in the 24 hour rule says after processing it's still good for 24 hours so i'm going to stick this in the fridge and we will use it up all right i'm going to get these guys washed up and in the cupboard all right that's all there is to canning up ground beef it is one of the easier projects to can up so if you haven't canned any meat this is a great one to start i hope you enjoyed the video oh and if you have never used harvest guard lids or tattler lids but you'd like to give them a try you should they're great because you can reuse them over and over and the seals you get at least 10 uses out of them so that is another good thing they pretty much pay for themselves themselves in the end all right folks i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these please consider subscribing you can find me on instagram at jennygoff18 i'm also on facebook and you can visit my blog at jennygoff.com for all of my recipes including the taco meat recipe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.